all right what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas unfortunately this is not the news i wanted to bring you guys but this is the news i have to bring you guys all right and that is the fact that bella delphine is pretty much done on the internet it's a goner it's dead the career has officially gone goodbye Although some of you might be pretty excited to hear that news, that's not necessarily a good thing for the internet, in my opinion at least. So just to give you guys some context here, I was scrolling through some of my older videos here on the channel, and I came across this time last year where we were all looking at Bella Delphine's adult content. And honestly, it just reminded me of how shitty the internet has actually become. Like, this shit is fucking boring, man. There ain't nothing going on nowadays. Like a couple years ago, we had Alinity popping her tits out on Twitch, then we had the Bella Delphine videos being released, and now we have nothing. Every now and then, you might hear of a story where like a classroom full of kids found their teacher's butthole on OnlyFans, and that's great and all, don't get me wrong, but like at the same time, we don't have any of these content creators out here slipping up, you know what I'm saying? However, when Bella Delphine was around on the internet, there was pretty much always something to be talking about whether we're talking about her shoving an octopus tentacle inside her pussy or we're talking about the time that she opened a present on christmas and out came a teddy bear with a penis that just fucking went to town on her either way she did a really good job making some content that was pretty far out there because you know you have people like me clowning on her for doing that and at the same time you have these fucking reddit losers that are actually getting off to that kind of content now if that is you you need some goddamn help you sick fuck like please i want you to social distance twice as far away from me if you don't mind now to prove my point that bella delphine has officially left the internet is basically pretty self-explanatory you can even do this research yourself she hasn't posted a video on her youtube channel in a little over eight months she hasn't tweeted out on her twitter since january of this year it's almost been an entire year and to top it all off she hasn't even been on her own only fans for over a month. Now, if we're being completely honest here, fellas, all good things must come to an end, and that includes everything on YouTube. Hell, even for my channel, one day I will upload my last video, and damn, that is a sad thought to really think about, but it happens. Every single person you watch on YouTube right now will eventually upload their last video, and you will hear nothing from them ever again. And currently, that just seems to be where Bella's at in her career. Now, don't get me wrong, fellas. She cashed the fuck out, all right? She is certainly not hurting for money by any means necessary. But when it comes to her popularity here on YouTube, on the internet as a whole, really, we can look at the Google Trends page. It's all headed in the same direction, and unfortunately, it's going down, man. It is it's done. It's done. If for whatever reason she decided to come back to YouTube and get into some drama or post some controversial content again, sure, she'd get a spike. She'd get a little bit of traction back, but she will never be the 2020 adult film Bella Delphine. It'll just never be the same again. Now, before any of you losers down in the comments section tried to accuse me of being a simp or a white knight for Bella, listen, all right? I'm not even attracted to her. I don't even think she's hot by any means necessary. Like, her whole persona of this character is appearing to be a younger girl, like a 14-year-old girl. That's not my thing, man. You guys know here on the channel. You guys know what kind of women I'm into, all right? I back the MILFs. I support them. You can support the MILFs with me by leaving a fat fucking like on the video. But like, hey, man, I'm just being completely honest here. I watched both the videos when she released them. I didn't even get a boner. Didn't jack off nothing, all right? I watched them for research purposes for YouTube. But other than that, I wasn't really impressed. What I was impressed by, though, is some of the simps still to this very day posting on her Twitter. If you take a look here, you'll see Daddy's back from his Discord session and seen you didn't give him whole pics. Daddy is very angry with you. Snap me one right now before I come over there and punish my little kitten. Like, hey, bro, come on. Did you really mean to tweet that? Like, you actually sat there, took time out of your day, typed this shit out, and hit send? Oh, my God, no. No, 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 no. You gotta be fucked up in the head, man. But unfortunately, it doesn't end there. We have the next person saying, Go ahead, call me lonely, a simp, or horny. 
These are my fucking feelings. I want to have the roughest and hottest sex with Bella Delphine. Seriously, her cute accent, her lovely face, and her supple body. Wow, wow, some real good adjectives there, bro. Drive me to horny madness. Every inch of her would be massaged and licked. Like, that's great and all, but did you ever consider your future employer, your parents, your friends, your family? Like, did you ever consider that they might see this shit? They might see you being down bad over an e-girl millionaire on Twitter who has literally no interest in you whatsoever. They might be your fucking feelings, but you should have left your fucking feelings in the draft bro like come on don't be out here on the timeline doing this but like i hope you guys can see now how big of an impact bella delphine really did have on the internet especially when it comes to like gaming content like bella was always out here doing weird shit doing it for the memes like she was actually doing it as a joke at first and then dudes caught on and actually liked it but now unfortunately we just have e thoughts like amaranth that gets banned for showing too much booty crack every night now and then it's just never gonna be the same bro and i'm not even trying to be that guy that's like oh 2016 youtube was so much better i can't really say that because i'm fucking making content now right like obviously i'm trying to make a difference here but i'm just saying man the more e-thoughts we have out here sticking candy canes in their asshole the easier my job is like it's just that simple and guys with that being said that's gonna be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i want to give a shout out to my fantastic members we have omg it's birdman archive and joseph guys i appreciate the hell out of your support if you yourself would like to support the channel consider becoming a member today more importantly though fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the mills with me and i will catch you guys next time later what's going on everyone welcome back to another video fellas today we're gonna be looking at probably the saddest attempt i've ever seen to pick up a woman now let's not kid ourselves we've all been there before hell even i've been there all right i got rejected in front of all my friends at the library back in high school i mean it's not necessarily funny in the moment in fact i was actually kind of upset but now i look back at it i think it's freaking hilarious it is one of my favorite memories of school i can already see these lame ass giga chads and chat type i see you i see you typing right now you're sitting down there saying oh well i never got rejected no not me well i'd say if you never got rejected in your lifetime you probably just settled for fat chicks and that's cool because the big girls they need some love too but just remember no matter how badass you might think you are there's always someone else out there that's just gonna be better than you you would have been rejected at some point in your life all right anyways with that that being said, let me lay some context for you guys. So I guess like dating over Discord is a new thing. I've never done it personally. I don't recommend it. Like, would you rather stick your penis inside someone or would you rather just jack off and moan over the phone? Yeah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and go with option number one. But I guess for a lot of younger people nowadays, they meet over the internet and it seems to be a pretty common theme. Even if they don't live in the same state, hell, you could be in a different different country and people would still have like phone e-sex and stuff i think you guys understand what i'm trying to say here anyways moving on there is a boy and a girl here in the situation they both go to the same school but for some reason they wanted to talk over discord i believe they've talked in school before but they've never like talk talked if you get what i'm trying to say here so what was going to happen is the boy in the situation jp he was going to be giving the woman a room tour and things could not have went any worse like I'm not even kidding when I say this he could have cut his nuts off shoved his hand in a goat's ass and it probably would have smelled and looked better than what actually happened over this phone call anyways I know this sounds a little bit weird and one important fact I should throw in here is that JP has never spoken to a woman all right he has spoken to his mom his sister but JP is just the kind of dude to log like 85 days played on call of duty rather Rather than just speak to a woman now I understand that some of you might be confused right now like what I'm saying just doesn't make sense it's just fucking weird and it is it's very fucking weird and it's awkward and it doesn't make any goddamn sense but without wasting any more time let's just get into it here fellas so you come through here 
um, everything's on. Um, my dad completely built this room by himself, so, um, yeah, I sit there usually, and then, uh, here's my fridge, the dead rat, my cat, and... Uh -huh. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys understand what I was trying to say. Now, this is just a weird interaction, all right? It's almost like two people from Reddit tried to meet up over the internet, and things just didn't really work out. In fact, this actually kind of reminds me of a video I made a couple weeks ago where a 35-year-old virgin tried to meet up with some hot chicks for the first time in his life. And it basically went exactly like how you would imagine. It's just like some dude who plays COD all day met up with a woman for the first time. He was sitting there, piss running down his legs, shaking in his own goddamn boots. Didn't even know what to say, man. The dude is just stumbling over his words. I'm talking about the video that involved a 35-year-old virgin meeting up with some girls for the first time, for those of you that aren't aware. This is basically the exact same interaction, but over the internet. I gotta say though, the biggest mistake that was made here is mentioning the dead rat on the floor. Now before this phone call actually took place, he asked me for some advice and you know what I told him? Clean your room. Make it look somewhat presentable. Don't look like you're a fat fucking slob that sits in a lazy boy all day playing Call of Duty. Instead, spend some extra time, clean your room, make your bed, make your room look presentable to a woman, almost as if you like brush your teeth or something, you know? With that being being said, it would be a great idea to pick a dead rat up off the fucking floor. If you look at this image right here, it really does look like a dead rat. Now, later on, after the phone call was ended, I later learned that this was just a cat toy and it was just like some fuzz or something. But if you look at this image and you say, oh yeah, that's a dead rat right there on the floor, it makes it look like you're a nasty fuck, bro. Do not do this. Never do this again, please. And then uh, I think maybe one fifth of my comics, the rest are up in the attic right up over here. But these ones I've either are one of my favorites or either um, I haven't read yet. I, I think up to six, like, where is it? I'm looking for the, the Spider-Man one I have not read yet with Kingpin and everything. But the rest I've read. All right, so this is the second red flag of the phone call. And I gotta say, man, do not ever talk about your goddamn comic books again, bro. There's no better way to dry up a vagina. Like, literally nothing does it faster than talking about comic books all day. Now, if you like comic books, you know, that's fine. You do what you want in your spare time. But I'm just saying, do not tell it to a woman, all right? It's like if a girl came up to you and wanted to talk about eyeshadow and makeup and shit. Like, no dude likes likes that no one's gonna be like oh my god i can't wait to talk about mascara next it's just not something you should talk about on the first date like literally talking about your comic books just screams i'm a virgin i live in my mother's basement if you start talking about your comic book collection bro she's just gonna go ahead and assume that your ball sack smells like a 30 day year old peeled onion all right it's not a good smell it is not pleasant what did you do for halloween i don't understand what do you like mean what did you dress up as? Oh, I was a witch. Yeah. Kind of so ironic. Nice. What do you mean ironic? Uh, do you have any... Uh, that was a joke. Well, yeah. Um, I, I'm not good at talking to people. No, it's fine. Me either, honestly. So... I mean, you're good to go if you want, but we're not like we're not really staying in here that long. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I've got school tomorrow. Okay. See you later. I might see you tomorrow. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. That right there, fellas, might be my favorite part of this whole Discord call. Basically, JP asks, what did you be for Halloween this year? She says a witch, and he claims it to be ironic. After he calls that ironic, she then gets kind of offended. Like, there was some, some aggression in her voice there, like, what do you mean, ironic? And then it's just awkward silence. <laughs>
<laughs> it's just silent, man. And then he just hits her with a, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really good at talking to people. And then just to make things even better, he ends the phone call off by chewing on a granola bar and saying, so, uh, yeah, you're free to go. Like, it's damn near saying, can you please just fucking leave? I don't want to talk to you anymore. There's nothing like taking a girl out on your first date, and you guys head out to the Olive Garden, right? Halfway through your meal, you just hit her with, uh, so, uh, do you mind just fucking leaving? Like, this shit's kind of boring. Anyways, if you guys ever hear the phrase, so, uh, yeah, you're free to leave, that's now what I'm referring to, alright? It's just, it's literally a meme, bro. It's too fucking funny. And there you guys have it. That is the story of the incel that got rejected fucking horribly, bro. Like, I actually shed a tear after watching this. Not really, though. It, it was pretty fucking funny. Let's be real here. I'll actually let you guys hear the rest of our conversation after this took place. But first, I want to thank everyone for watching today's video. You guys are fucking badass. Shout out to the channel members. We have OMG, it's Birdman Archive, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of you. If you yourself would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today more importantly though fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the mills with me and i'll catch you guys next time later <laughs> I stuck with it. You did what good, you did. oh fuck <laughs> gp <laughs> not good not good <laughs> i'm just eating a granola bar you showed some dead rat on the floor you talked about your comic books <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and then he goes, Yeah, anyway, you're free to go if you want. <laughs> <laughs> you like dismissed her. You're like, Just please leave. And then she's like, Yeah, I guess I will go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, did I miss something fuck? good? <laughs> yeah. The best thing I've ever seen in my life. What happened? Okay, so you, were you you were there for the for the room tour? <laughs> uh, barely, but yeah. He Schroeder's she <laughs> he gets towards the end and he's like, "Oh yeah, these are my comics." Starts oh, going into man. the comics, and then he's like, "These are my special comics." And then he Don't shows her like rat, one man. or two. Oh yeah, yeah. He's like, "This is a dead rat on my floor." Sorry. And then he then he turns his camera off and he's like, "So yeah, everyone's just zoning, chilling. We just finished playing the game." And then like there was probably thirty seconds of silence right after that, and he goes, "I'm not very good at talking to people, <laughs> so you could go if you want." <laughs> and then she dipped, and then she was like, "Yeah, I guess I will. I got oh. school tomorrow." Wait. Why do you have a dead rat in your room, GP? Oh, my cat killed it. You it's didn't think to clean oh, that up? Shouldn't you dispose of Wait, it? That, that was a it's real tough. rat? No, it's stuff. I forgot to mention that. Sorry. Okay. I, so, yeah, a, lot of stuff, a lot of stuff was in my head. I wasn't really thinking. Yeah, sure. so she he dismissed her. <laughs> yeah. You literally <laughs> asked her to leave it a call. <laughs> I... I'm crying, man. I, yeah, you I you can go if you'd like. <laughs> or no, he said, he didn't say that. He's like, you're free to go. If you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're free to go. I'm not. Uh, that's worse than like, that's like a girl's like, yo, I'm going to suck your dick. And you go, no, please don't. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I felt, I was trying to joke too with the witch theme, but then I. That's not even a good format. Like, yeah. she's like, he, I'm messaging him questions, Daifo. Okay. My I hit God. him with a few. I was like, I was like, uh, ask her what she dressed up as. And then I was like, now you should say, got any pixie your costume. When it got to the point of him, of me saying, you got any pixie your costume, right? She's like, oh, I was a witch. And he goes, that's ironic. Yeah. And then you can hear him stumbling over his words as he's going through what I'm messaging him, which was, if you have any pictures of your costume, and he completely didn't say it, and that's when he was like, sorry, I'm not good at talking to people. Yeah, you, like, kind of offended her, I think, when you're like, oh, that's ironic, and then he just didn't say anything for, like, 30 seconds. <laughs> and she's like, what do you mean? And he's like, and he just went on to the next thing. Yeah. <laughs>
I'm not good at this. <sighs> that was horrible. I'm not doing that again. No, you have to keep doing it, GP. Yeah, this is horrible. It's a learning experience, bro. Like yours we've, wasn't we've that bad, wasn't it? I got rejected in front of all my boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. But I, I don't think it was that bad. Dude, I I've been a bigger clown than you in, in the past, so don't worry about it. You didn't have that recorded, did you? Oh, I do. I do too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I wanna hear it. Stream it real quick. I, I wanna hear it. I wanna see it too. I wanna okay. see how bad. what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas i apologize i wasn't able to upload as many videos as i was really hoping to this week don't worry though because your favorite gynecologist just so happens to be doing a free car giveaway that's right ladies and gentlemen only here on the dr baloney channel can you earn yourself a totally legit 100 percent not fake giveaway my lawyer says i need to say this is fake but guess what it's not all you have to do is subscribe to the goddamn channel so yeah it's pretty self-explanatory but if you still don't understand how the giveaway works basically it's a two-step process step one subscribe to the channel and step two wait for your name to never be selected with that being said i really don't have a whole lot of free time to just browse on the internet for video topics anymore so pretty much i just go to twitter and i can find some dumb shit usually pretty quickly i found this in all of about five minutes here basically we're just going to be looking at a list that this woman just so happened to make 10 reasons to not date a man and as you guys can imagine the reasons are pretty fucking stupid like actually painfully dumb so i do apologize if you lose a couple brain cells i mean that's usually to be expected when you go on twitter anyways but without wasting any more goddamn time guys let's just get straight the fuck in this video okay list of men not to date number one anyone under seven inches now i will say this is pretty self-explanatory like as a dude you have no control over this whatsoever some dudes are just not as blessed as other i mean it is what it is it's the harsh reality but i think we can all accept it at some point in our lifetime now listen i'm not trying to say that you can't be a size queen or anything like that because at the end of the day we all have preferences and what we enjoy and we don't you see the thing is though i don't think this woman fully Fully understands that I am going to take my pointer finger and my middle finger on both hands I'm then going to insert all four of these fingers inside her actual anus and I'm going to stretch apart her once circular asshole until it resembles two pancakes sitting on top of each other but I mean that's really neither here nor there like let's let's not worry about that fellas um what I will say here though is that like the average vagina is fucking three and a half inches deep or something Something like that listen okay what are you doing with the other three and a half inches there you can't even fucking take it in your vagina if you wanted to your asshole would be screaming if this got inside of you and you couldn't even swallow a whole fucking stick if you tried why are you wasting your fucking time with this okay should you turn down a man because he's not as blessed the answer should be no but like let's be real you gotta have some other redeeming qualities you know whether you're rich as fuck or you're a professional athlete you know need to have something to make up for that area as for the second point on the list of men not to date she has men under six foot two again this is another quality that a man has literally no control of whatsoever right if i were to make a dating application like this and i might say something like oh you gotta have c cup tits or bigger and you gotta be below 185 pounds there'd be a lot of bitching on the internet right there'd be a lot of fucking pissed off females about that you see the difference is though you kind of have some control over that you can control your weight to an extent if you have a woman that is five foot six and a woman that is six foot five it's going to be a lot harder for the taller woman to get down to a certain weight period of like let's say 135 pounds that's gonna be really really difficult it might be impossible either way it doesn't fucking matter because you have control of your weight if you're fat you can actually do something about it now as for the titties if you are smaller let's say you have some a cups you know you're, you're a little bit of a flat-chested bitch you can go out there and just 
pay for tits. Like, you literally just walk into a building and you leave with big tits after making a deposit. Anyways, the point that I'm trying to make here is just basically that there's a lot of dudes out there that can't help themselves. They're not bigger than seven inches. They're five foot four. They're short fucks. They have tiny dicks. It's unfortunate, but that doesn't mean they should be completely left out. Like, they shouldn't just be fucking rejected by society, you know? Anyways, moving on with her list here. Under number three, she has men with kids, and I can kind of understand this one. I honestly think it has a lot to do with age. If you're a young female, like, you ain't trying to have kids at the moment, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're just trying to live your life, go to college, whatever. Like I said, I can't blame you. If I went to school all day, I wouldn't want to come home and take care of little fucking Timmy either. The fourth reason why you should not date a man is if he doesn't have a beard. Again, this is something. You don't really have control of this. There are products you can buy. There are things you can try to help you gain a beard. But not every man is going to be able to grow one. It's just, it's fucking life. Number five, we have broke men. And this one, again, I can kind of understand. But at the same time, everyone's situation is fucking different here. If a dude is not willing to get a job, he doesn't have a car, he's just looking to fuck fucking mooch off of other women you're a bum you're a lazy fuck you're a failure to society and your father i mean at that point i honestly can't blame him but if you're a dude that just comes from an unfortunate family you know you've never had a lot of money and you're currently working on building wealth like that's not a reason to just not date someone you know what i'm saying if they are working towards a better future that is absolutely a reason to be with them just because they're not at the point now doesn't mean they never will be it's just shit takes time the shit the shit takes some fucking time man jeff bezos didn't become a billionaire overnight and with that being said number six we have men with braids yeah i don't really have an opinion on this i don't know what to say number seven photographers and this one this one kind of shocked me fellas i i wasn't really expecting this and the reason i say that is because a lot of bitches out there man they love instagram it is all they care about at the end of the day how many likes did i get today did some Sabrina like my picture. I want that fat bitch to know that I'm with this. You know, there's a lot of reasons that girls like photographs. And with that being said, like, she doesn't want a photographer? This this shit ain't adding up, man. This don't make any goddamn sense. Um, I actually just realized here on the list we have two number sevens. I guess this smooth brain fucking bitch can't even count to ten correctly. She also has rappers under the number seven bullet point. With that being said, I, I, I can kind of get it. I guess, you know, a lot of dudes out here, they just like, they quit their job to become a rapper and they make no fucking money. With that being said, though, if they ever do blow up, you know, don't be fucking running to their doorstep. Don't be trying to get back in his life now that he's rich and famous. And then let's just finish this shit up here, fellas. We have men who claim to be alphas, men who watch anime and gamers. And I can say after going through this whole list, it sounds like this fucking bitch is going to be single for a very very long time until whatever fairy tale fucking movie she's watching ends and you know what maybe i'm the crazy one here let's say that this guy that she's looking for he really does exist out there why the fuck would he be with you you're not even attractive like you have nothing more to offer than a dry pussy and a boring time at parties if a dude like this actually exists he ain't gonna be with you anyways guys with all that being said that's gonna be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i want to give a shout out to the fucking greatest channel members on the face of the goddamn planet we have omg it's birdman archive and joseph guys i appreciate the hell out of your support you guys know that by now if you would like to support the channel yourself consider becoming a member today more importantly though fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the mills with me and i will catch you guys next time later Alright, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas i apologize if i sound a little off today i have been trying for hours to get this butt plug out it's not happening today man okay things are just gonna be a little off we're just gonna f
can deal with it. Um, anyways, let's just move on from that. Today, we're going to be talking about a little bit of an odd parenting style. Now, I'm sure we've all had a friend or two that actually has a hot mom. And if that's you, you know, that's great. That is fantastic. I'm so happy for you. But I understand, you know, everyone gets those jokes like, hey, I banged your mom last night and I shot all over her face. Everyone gets those jokes. But dudes who actually have a hot mom, oh my God, they have it so much worse. It's not even funny. It's literally all they ever can hear about. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about a family that's on OnlyFans. Now, this is a little different because we always see the hot moms out there posting booty pics. However, we don't ever really see the husbands actually step in front of the camera. You know, they might be the ones behind the camera taking pictures, uploading things online. And like, I've always known that there's a lot of married couples out there on OnlyFans, but like typically the guy just isn't as willing to get in front of the camera as the woman. And I think we all know why because anytime the woman actually states that she has a boyfriend for some reason she just loses like 50% of her following anyways fellas if you enjoyed today's video please be sure to subscribe to the channel and maybe that'll help me get this fucking plug out of my ass whatever without wasting any more time let's just get into it here a Texas couple who rakes in three hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year on OnlyFans are hitting back at critics who claim they are bad parents for sharing their sexy con content online. How did I forget this? They have fucking children. They have young kids. The Fort Worth residents Courtney and Nick launched their lucrative Texas Thighs OnlyFans account in 2020, despite they have two daughters ages 16 and 13. Now you see guys, that kinda changes the scenario a little bit, and don't get me wrong, I love a woman that's blonde and has big tits and she looks great, she really does, but you have two very young kids in school right now, there's no way they are not getting bullied, like there are definitely kids in class saying, hey, I watched your mom get railed in the fucking ass last night and like this is obviously something that's becoming more popular there's a lot of kids nowadays that are just gonna have moms doing only fans it's just gonna be a thing forever now but like as a parent why would you put your kids in that situation now don't get me wrong the money's nice but is your kids getting fucking depressed and bullied worth it now I could be wrong when I say this but I think it'd be worse to be a boy in this situation because every boy wants to fuck some other kid's mom but not every girl wants to fuck some other kid's dad if you get what i'm trying to say here anyways let's continue on here fellas the account features explicit photos and videos of corny ann which are shot by her husband fans fork over cash for access and the couple is nearly making more in a single month than they made in an entire year but their newfound fortune has come at a price with trolls accusing them of being poor role models to their two young girls courtney then goes on to say I have received comments and messages from people saying that they would be embarrassed to be my kids. Some even write that my kids are gonna be whores like me. Nasty locals have also stated wild rumors that the couples are swingers who host wild sex parties inside their suburban home. Alright, that's quite a bit to take in there, fellas. Essentially what I got from that is they think this is fucking normal. Like, they really think everyone on the block is just posting booty hole pics online. I mean, this lifestyle may be normal to you guys, but like, not to everyone else, bro. If I go to the grocery store and 65-year-old Lisa is checking me out, I ain't gonna sit there and have a nice little conversation like oh Lisa your tits look so fucking saggy online this week you know what you should you should do something about it and again they may think that this lifestyle is completely normal and acceptable and that's fine that's great and dandy you know life is just nothing but fucking butterflies and rainbows but whenever the locals are sitting there talking shit about you saying things like your kids are gonna grow up and be whores just like you I mean like honestly what the fuck do you expect here you suck dick for a goddamn living hell you take pipe in the fuck ass and get paid for it and yet you don't want to be called a whore I mean what you do in your free time you know that's your own business I truly don't care but I'm just saying like if you're making three hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year who gives a fuck what you're being called you know what I'm saying they could be calling you a goddamn moo moo cow like who honestly gives a fuck now as for everyone else saying that they're terrible parents and they're making a bunch of bad decisions that are gonna rub off on their children I don't think those people are necessarily wrong it just kind of depends on how they parent these kids in my opinion like what if one day your 13 year old daughter sees how much money you're actually making from OnlyFans and she decides you know what I'm gonna try and sneak an account and not let my mom know about it 
I really think there's just way too many variables that go into a situation here to say, like, whether they're good or bad parents. It just depends, man. Is her 13-year-old getting fucking gangbanged, or is she posting booty pics online already, or is she a good person? She's in sports. She's just a normal fucking kid, you know? We'll never actually know. If I'm being completely honest, I'm sure things are fine, the kids are okay, the parents are doing a good job, but at the same time, there is a reason for concern. You never know what's going on on inside someone's home hell you could be working with the next fucking serial killer and you'd have no idea just one day he wouldn't show up to work and you're like what the hell's going on where's he at you pull up your twitter or facebook or whatever and boom there's his fucking face plastered all over the internet this dude slaughtered like 50 fucking people anyways getting back on track here the whole point of this video is because this couple claims that they're just normal parents and let's be honest there is quite literally nothing normal that you do you might watch movies movies together and go to the bowling alley on birthday parties and shit, but I wouldn't say it's exactly normal for a 13 year old girl to have a mother who just takes dick in the fucking ass for money, like, it happens, but most of them do it for free, you know? And also, it's a big difference because you can pay $5.99 a month and actually watch it go down. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm sure the kids are fine, I'm sure the parents are fine, and I'm sure that some of the locals are taking this way too fucking far, like, they think there's an actual dungeon in the bottom of their house where they just have a bunch of fucking sex and shit and i mean there's always gonna be those people that just literally never fucking understand what's actually going on anytime i tell someone i have a youtube channel they always think i'm a fucking vlogger i mean it's whatever but i can tell you guys right now if i am ever making three hundred and fifty thousand dollars doing anything i don't give a goddamn on your opinion all right you can take it and you can shove it up your fucking ass for all i care with that being said though that's gonna be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i want to give a shout out to joseph for being the fucking realest channel member on the face of the goddamn planet shout out to you bro if you yourself would like to support the channel consider becoming a member today more importantly though fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the hot moms with me and i will catch you guys next time later what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas today we're gonna be taking a look at your typical e-thought on twitter i mean that's what you really expect when you come to this channel but first we're gonna be taking a look at the second biggest incel in the world that i know of anyways the first obviously being jp hog if you guys haven't seen that video i'll link it down below basically jp tried talking to a woman for the very first time and he did such a bad job that people actually thought i could have staged the video guys the thing is i didn't need to stage the video okay jp was gonna fuck that up regardless i just happened to be at the right place at the right time anyways today we're gonna be taking a look at a tiktok and i haven't seen this video yet so it could go really good or it it's probably gonna go bad you know let's just be completely honest here the thing is though you don't need to watch the video to know it's some fucking heat it's gonna hit you in the face regardless i mean if we just take a quick look at the thumbnail we can tell pretty much right away something bad is about to happen it's about to fucking go down and i want to be a part of it with you guys so uh starting off here it says pov you're the rich girl i kidnapped for ransom and i'm the kidnapper just like imagine getting kidnapped by this guy right right? Like, he probably weighs 85 pounds soaking wet. He looks like a goddamn lizard with that stupid-ass long-ass neck. I, I don't even know what the fuck to call him, bro. He does not look like a normal human. He looks like the kind of guy to walk into a women's locker room on accident. Like, yeah, yeah that was definitely an accident. Anyways, I guess he just kidnapped us and we're supposed to, like, pretend we're in the back of his fucking car or something. All right, let's just play the video. All right. 
Alright, so uh, there's some pretty serious stuff going on within this video right now. I think we're all getting the same vibes from it. And um, basically all I can say is, where the fuck is the FBI, man? Who the hell is not doing their job right now? Like, this is definitely the type of dude to show you his cock and then he's gonna show you the Glock, so you might as well, you know. You know what, man? Something with this video is just not really rubbing me the right way. I don't know if it's because he called us kitten or he's just got this stupid look on his face that says he's about to full fucking send it. He ain't got nothing to lose, okay? You don't ever fuck with a man that's got nothing to lose because, well, he's got nothing to fucking lose, so... Anyways, I just want to make sure I have this story correct here. So we're like some little girl and he kidnaps us and he's demanding money from our father. And then we say some dumbass shit like, I'm not crying because I'm scared my life's about to end. I'm crying because I'm bleeding out of my puss. Like, I don't understand where the logic comes in this situation here. The more I try to make it make sense in my mind, it's just the less fucking sense it makes. So you know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. Let's just move on. Let's see what his fucking fantasy says. Alright, well, that was quite the turn of events, I must say. Basically, we're bleeding, he gives us a tampon, and then we fall in fucking love with him. And then this dude has the fucking audacity to say something like, I may be a bad guy, but I'm no monster who supports the patriarchy. I'd never let a woman suffer like that. Like, this dude's demeanor completely changed throughout the video. At first, he starts off with the attitude of, I'ma fuck your bitch right in front of you and walk out with her, to the, oh, baby, uwu kitten goddess, do you need a tissue or a, or a pussy stuff? I'll give you anything, goddess, please, just take my money. I didn't want to be the one to say it, but, you know, I could have guessed he was an alphabet kind of guy just by the green hair, if, I, if I'm just being honest. And, like, we fucking get it, dude, okay? You don't want to support the patriarchy. You want all the girls of TikTok to know that, oh, I'm not like those other guys. No, I don't support the patriarchy. Like, you might think it's a personality trait or something, but it's fucking not. Now, obviously, I don't condone bullying by any means necessary. Right, Susan? Su Susan? Right? Like, we don't... Okay, yeah. So, obviously, I would never support bullying, but, you know, I'm just saying, some kids at school, they're probably gonna see this TikTok. Are they gonna be proud of that? You think girls are gonna approach you and be like, oh my god, go ahead and drop your pants to your fucking knees. Let's just do it now. Now, that might be the fantasy you want to happen in your uwu world, but I'm just saying, bro, kids at school are gonna see this. You are never going to hear the end of this video. Like, you might be TikTok talk famous at your middle school and that's great but you're probably not going to be famous for the reason you want to be you're not some fucking superhero oh and uh lose the green hair you fucking lizard licker anyways let's move on to our next topic here I'm not gonna lie, I'd be pretty shocked if you haven't heard the name Viperius on Twitter at least once. I know I've made several videos about her. She's always posting these bait tweets talking about how horny she is on the timeline. It gets her interactions up. I mean, I can't even fucking blame her because all these simp lord fucking losers interact with her tweets and it boosts her numbers. Anyways, this week she tweets out, My boyfriend and my dad have the same name. Every time I have sex with my boyfriend, I think about my dad. It's so annoying. And of course, the first reply is, whose dick is bigger? And she says, my dad. Now, like I said, she tweets out nothing but bait. She's always tweeting out like, oh my God, one of my subscribers bought me a hot tub. They bought me a Rolls Royce. They bought me, you know, all this shit that's worth so much fucking money. And it turns out to never be true. Now, don't get me wrong. She's pretty hot. But like, I'm just saying, bro, you gotta be fucked in the head. You have got to have some mental issues if this is what you're thinking of every night. You're just like, oh man, I can't wait to tweet about my dad's fucking dick. I mean, I can't lie. It would be pretty weird if your boyfriend and your dad did have the same name. Like if it was fucking Craig for some reason, Craig's hitting you from behind and Craig is also taking you to volleyball practice in a little bit. Things would definitely be a little weird. I can understand that. But like I said, this is fucking bait. It's not real. Just like the other 99% of things you see on the internet, it's all fake. It's all an illusion. It's all for clout. It's all for numbers and um, definitely money. Money. Anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to the world's greatest fucking channel member, Joseph. If you yourself would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly, though,
though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support all the hot moms with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Alright, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas I apologize I've been a little inactive here on the channel for those of you that aren't aware I've basically been renovating a house for about a month now and we finally made the move to it which is great I'm loving life at the moment it's fantastic however with that being said there is one small little flaw about the house and that's that uh I don't have internet all right dude i'm living in the goddamn stone ages over here george washington is riding horses out behind my fucking house right now so basically to make a video i create it on my desktop computer and then i move it to my laptop and then i have to drive like 30 minutes to mcdonald's and sit in their fucking parking lot so i can actually use some wi-fi around here you know what man it may be a pain in my fucking ass but i don't care i kiss every single one of you fucking beautiful motherfuckers out there oh my god no no homo, of course, no homo. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about the time that a woman made a very big mistake and she fucked up, bro. She can't go back. There is no taking this back now. I mean, to be completely fair, though, she's a woman. What did you really expect to happen? I mean, when Steph Curry steps up to the three-point line and shoots a ball, do you expect it to go in? Yes, because it's fucking Steph. I mean, it's literally no different than letting a woman make the decision. Hey, Susan. Hey, we're all good, right? Okay. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely didn't mean that. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, all right? I know there's some women out there that have made great accomplishments in this world and great decisions. I mean, it's whatever, though. Try to find someone who cares, honestly. All right, guys, without wasting any more time, let's get into the story here. Except, um, if you like hot moms, especially MILFs with, like, big fucking tits, you need to subscribe to the channel right now, okay? Quit wasting your goddamn life because one day you're gonna wake up and uh, actually, you know what? No, one day you're not gonna wake up and you're gonna wish you subscribed to the world's greatest fucking gynecologist. Anyways, the post starts off by saying, I, 32 female, made a huge mistake and now I don't want to be with my husband. We have been together since 19 and married for two years. I've always wanted to have kids and have been asking to be allowed to since we got together. Well, after we got married, we agreed to try for it. I mean, honestly, that all sounds pretty Pretty great so far that's a lot of people's dream get married start having kids you buy a house a car and you just you just fucking vibe out in life right except uh, that's where things typically go wrong she then goes on to say but it just never worked and I saw a doctor who said due to a genetic condition I was born with I have zero chance of ever conceiving this broke me for a long time and even now is really hard to think about without getting sad but one of our friends heard about this and she has four kids of her own already and she offered to be a surrogate for us as a favor for those of you that aren't aware basically a surrogate is where another woman carries the baby inside of her and her body actually develops the young child that doesn't necessarily mean the husband gets to have sex with some other girl i mean that's most husbands dream you know what i'm saying unfortunately though most of the time it doesn't really work out like that now i'm not saying there isn't that one-off chance where your wife's just like you know what fuck it just just go Go fuck someone but typically when this happens you know it's like scientifically implanted in the woman it's like dudes in fucking lab coats and shit and they like shove shit out you guys know what i'm trying to say here you've seen it in the movies anyways for some couples this is literally the only option they'll ever have like the woman's body is just not capable of carrying a child and i mean this is fine there's really nothing wrong with it it's just if you ever want to have your own offspring and this is your only option i mean you, you gotta do what you gotta fucking do you know anyways the woman then goes on to say but now that she's actually pregnant with his child and not me I can't help but feel insanely jealous and it makes me not even want to look at him and I know I asked him to do it but I just want to run away and I don't know why I ever thought this would be a good idea listen I've really only got one thing to say here and that is what the fuck did you expect you stupid bitch like what the hell you know I probably should feel bad because she kind of sounds mentally retarded and I don't really know what you expect 
effect. It's like walking into a Ford dealership and driving off the lot and just saying, God damn it, I should have bought a Chevy. What the fuck did I just do? I just signed seven years of my life away. Listen, I hope this couple doesn't get a divorce or anything like that. I really hope, you know, she's just jealous. She's mad about it. When the kid pops out, though, she's going to be happy. You're not going to look at your little baby child and say, oh, God, you pissed me the fuck off. Like, obviously, I've never been pregnant and I'm never going to be able to be pregnant. But I'm just saying it doesn't really seem like this, that and a whole bunch of fucking heaven. You know what I'm saying? It looks miserable. Like, I would rather die. I think I think I would just rather go than actually be fucking pregnant. Like, you obviously gain a bunch of weight. You're always eating junk food because your hormones are off the charts. Shit's just going, you know, it's not a normal functioning body. Not to mention, like, that shit looks painful, bro. Whenever a child just, like, rib kicks the fuck out of their mother, I mean, that it kind of makes my ribs hurt a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, the point that I'm trying to make here is that being pregnant does not look very fun. And this woman is doing it for free, apparently. It doesn't say anything thing about giving her money. I mean, the way the story was worded, it just sounds like her friend was trying to help her out so she could actually have her own child one day. And now she's fucking mad at her. She's like all mad at her husband over something they both agreed on. In fact, in the beginning of the story, she says that she had to convince her husband in order to get on board with this. He didn't even want to do this shit in the first place. He was probably like, no, 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 babe, fuck them kids. Let's save that money and let's buy a house in Florida. You know, something nice but he decided to be a nice guy and agree with you you know what it sounds like a good idea babe let's do it if that's what you really want then let's try it and well it happened and now she's mad and she's fucking jealous over her friend oh my god this story is hurting my goddamn brain guys i i swear to god i'm smelling colors at the moment the stupid is actually rubbing off on her onto me this is not good i mean like i said earlier though i'm sure when the child actually pops out that she'll be thankful she'll realize like oh my god I was being some stupid crazy bitch this entire time and I mean at that point if you're the husband you just gotta agree with her yeah babe you were a crazy bitch anyways guys with all that being said that's gonna be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching I really do appreciate it I also want to let you guys know I'm not sure what the gameplay is gonna be in the background of my videos at the moment like I said I don't have internet so I've got some gameplay saved on my computer and I'm probably Probably just going to use that up at the time being and I don't think I mentioned this earlier but I'm going to be getting internet it's just like the internet provider is so fucking busy at the moment it could be three months before I ever actually have a plug-in for my computer you know so uh, with that being said I do not have a way to see if I have any channel members at the moment you know what I'm sure Joseph the fucking goat is still subscribed to the fucking channel and everything uh, but if you're new and you're a channel member just put it down in the comment section below so I can actually get an idea. Unfortunately, the whole membership thing on YouTube, it's just, it's kind of fucking bogus at the moment. Like, you can only sign up on PC. I can only access it on PC. I don't know, man. It's a pain in my fucking ass. But I love you guys, and I appreciate you guys' support because you guys are the greatest goddamn viewers on the face of the planet. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member. But more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the hot moms with me and and I will catch you guys next time, later. Alright, what's going on everyone, and welcome back to another video. Fellas, today we're gonna be taking a look at your typical gamer girl. However, why do women who play video games always feel the need to announce it? Like, they have to be recognized as a gamer girl, as if it's some sort of personality trait or something. Like, obviously, excluding those weirdos that wore the creeper Minecraft t-shirts to school, when's the last time you heard a guy, like, proudly announce he's a gamer? You know what, guys? I think there's really only two reasons why a girl would ever claim to play video games. And first is obviously for the attention. There's a lot of people out there nowadays that, like, they just need validation. You know, if they post something on Instagram and they don't get 100 likes, they're going to delete it because it makes them look bad in their opinion. And, like, obviously, if females ever want to be a content creator, all they have to do is have a face cam and be kind of cute and then just, that's it. Like, dudes will just watch them. And the second reason a woman would want to be known as a gamer 
name her is because she's just another pick me girl you know like she really thinks she's not like other girls and she's actually different but like if we take a look at that quote from juice world he really said that all girls are the same and uh damn i hate to say it man but juice was fucking right anyways guys if you enjoyed today's video please be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel and without wasting any more goddamn time let's get right into it so this girl on twitter who i believe is a streamer i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure she's like a small streamer on twitch she tweets out being a gamer girl is so powerful every time some guy says some dumb shit to me in game i'm gonna tell him to shut the fuck up before i fuck his dad and give him a child he actually loves all right so i'm not sure if she was like trying to be funny in this tweet i mean god i would hope not because we all know women aren't fucking funny and i don't understand why there's this new trend all of a sudden of girls saying i'm gonna fuck your dad because bitch no you're not my dad's fucking fat and he's hairy like you're not even gonna look at him okay if he had a shirt and his goddamn pants off you would be disgusted just like i would be and like i don't know if you think you're something special because my dad might actually sleep with you like bitch at the end of the day my father will sleep with anything that fucking walks and talks anyways as most of you probably know by now wherever there is a cute girl on the internet there is always a pack of simps that follow her and just they they fucking they think they're going to actually sleep with her but guess what bitch okay you gotta be my fucking father to do that a couple of the most notable ones here were by this guy he says this some mommy energy keep grinding lol guess what nathan guess what okay i could sit here and i could roast you and i could make fun of you because you're a fucking loser Loser, but I'm not going to man. All right. I'm a nice guy at the end of the day. I'm a doctor I'm a man of love. All right. I love dishing a very large amount of love to women in bed It's just it's something I really enjoy doing. However, you know what Nathan? I'm gonna be nice to you today and instead I'm just gonna say it must be nice. It must be nice having all that extra room in your pants. Next up, we have Billy who says, I usually reply with kind of the same thing, but change dad to mom. Or if I'm feeling real kinky, just keep dad laughing my fucking ass off. Okay, listen, bro, you've lost your goddamn mind. Thankfully, Dylan has one and he played the uh, bitch hold on trap card here. This was a perfect time and the perfect situation for that, all right? Billy, I don't know what to say, bro. You are fucked in the head. You need some goddamn help. Like, Billy, let me ask you a question here, all right? Do you think your father, your principal, your friends on the football team, do you think they'd really find this funny? You think they'd be proud of you saying you're willing to fuck someone else's dad? Well, they say that you learn something new every single day, and today I learned that Billy likes getting fucked in the ass by old dudes, and you know what? That's fine. You do you, Billy, but miss me with that, all right? I'm just saying, man, all right? If Billy were my child, I might have to... Slap him around a little bit. Get his shit together. And then, of course, everyone knows by now, there's always those horny dudes in the comment section as well, okay? Like, it's one thing to simp and just be a stupid fucking loser on the internet. Like, it looks bad, but, like, it could always be worse, okay? It's one thing to simp, but it's a whole nother thing to be horny on the timeline. You just, at that point, you look fucking pathetic. And, um, that's exactly what Logan looks like here. He says, LOL, imagine fucking my dad just to become my stepmom. And we know where that goes. Ha ha ha. With the eye emojis. I see you, Logan. Like, dude, I'm so fucking confused right now. Does Logan actually think this is good, like, like talk you know what i'm saying like he really thinks he's about to slide in this bitch's cheeks just by saying some shit like this and you know what maybe logan has never touched a woman before and that's great because you know what i'm just gonna say the same thing bro it must be nice having all that extra room in your pants i mean like dude if my dick was that little i should be able to run a lot fucking faster and jump a little higher you know what i'm saying anyways guys the lesson we all should have learned today is that women may think they're funny but I mean they're not and like simps may think that they're being cool online you're not all right you're a fucking loser and you look stupid as hell one day you're gonna wake up and be like damn 
I really simped so fucking hard for that woman and she never even gave me a chance. I mean, the only thing that's worse than being a simp online is just straight up being a fucking horny motherfucker on the timeline, man. Like, dude, there's nothing worse, okay? You look fucking pathetic. I mean, we all get caught lacking at least once in our life, but like, don't be so fucking down bad and just put it all out there on the internet, you know? Like, if you're gonna be down fucking horrendous, you might as well make sure it's in private so at least only like two people find out about it don't be putting it out there online for people like me to make fun of you for anyways guys with all that being said that's gonna be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i still have not had a chance to access the internet so i don't know if i have any channel members but if i do you guys are fucking great and i love the hell out of you and um if you would like to support the channel yourself consider becoming a member today more importantly though fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new, leave a like on the video if you want to support the mills with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. What's up, guys? Today I am here with the sausage. Hey guys. And we are going to do the highly requested Touch My Body Challenge. No, that's not how it works. All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas the other day I was looking through my channel something was off All right, something was bothering me and I could not put my finger on it as I was looking through my older videos It finally hit me. I have yet to make a video on sniper wolf now part of that is because she just makes like cringe TikTok reactions and like how much can I really react to someone who just squeals like a fucking pig every 30 seconds You know like there's not a whole lot for me to do there now I'm not very proud to admit this, but I actually found Sniper Wolf's channel a very long time ago. Back in like Modern Warfare 3 days, she had like, I don't know, maybe 20,000 subs at the most. I mean, like, it wasn't good content, but it was creative, so I'll give her that at the very least. So the other day, I was really trying to figure out, man, what made Sniper Wolf famous? Like, was it these TikTok reactions? Is that what really got her booming? Well, if you go to Sniper Wolf's channel and you sort by the most popular video, the first thing you'll see pop up, just shy of 100 million views, is a Touch My Body Challenge. Like, are you fucking kidding me right now? And you see, it's funny because Sniper Wolf's one of those girls that's like, Oh my god, I'm a woman, I wanna be respected, I'm not an object! But yet at the same time, her most viewed video is her getting grabbed by the fucking nipple, okay? They really do it to themselves, like, you can't even make this up. You want to help them, you want to make them not feel like a fucking object, and then they turn around and do a fucking touch my goddamn body challenge. Anyways guys, if you happen to enjoy today's video, please be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel, and without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Actually, before we get into the video, you know, I just want to point out sniper wolf she's not a bad looking girl right like she's pretty decent i'd say that's definitely the reason she gets views on the internet fellas if you are ever feeling down about your views maybe you just think you're one ugly motherfucker which you might be all right but i just want you guys to know there is some fucking hope out there okay look at this guy right here look what he was able to pull you guys know how people will say no offense and then go on to say like the most offensive shit ever well no offense to this guy, but, huh, on your best day, you might be a three, okay? You look like you hang out at children's playgrounds and just, I don't know, man. This isn't, it isn't a good look, all right? I should do it very soon. <laughs> I will get the booze stolen. So I watched Jenna Marbles and her boyfriend do this video, and it was really, really funny, and I thought we should do it, too. I just want to touch boobs. That's not how it works. You touch what I tell you to. Alright, so I think we can all agree here that Sniper Wolf's fan base is probably below the age of 16. I mean, most of them are still, like, picking their fucking boogers and eating them at recess. I mean, with that being said, we have already referenced squeezing some tits like five times, and we're only 20 seconds into this video. All right, well, I think I'm going to spare you guys a couple brain cells here, and I won't make you listen to all this lovey-dovey bullshit, all right? So basically, the way the game works, one person's going to be blindfolded, they then have to stick out their finger, and they're going to touch a part of their body, and they have to guess what they just touched. You know, it's crazy how it took me like all of five seconds to explain how the game works, whereas they have to do their like cringe couple laugh shit. I don't know, man. It's just, it's fucking, it's bad. It's bad. You do not want to watch that. What's this? Boob. No. Boob. 
No, what is it? You're failing! You're gonna fail the thing. D? No. I don't know. You lost. Boob or me? Now look. <laughs> I don't. I get a point, you don't. Okay, my turn. No, no. It's not fair, you feel like No, down. okay, no, you have to be sneaky then about it. Like, stand up or like get in position. Because if you go down, I know you're going down. If you go up, I know you're going up. This is your toe, isn't it? I knew it. <laughs> Alright, this dude is obviously horny as fuck, and I don't think he really notices that, uh, this is a video for children. Alright, <laughs> like, these are kids watching this shit. I'm not gonna lie. I honestly do not know how anyone fucking watch it. Like, this is terrible. This content is fucking dog shit. I mean, I can get over the fact that the dude on the left looks fucking homeless and acts like he hasn't been laid in 10 years. I can get over that, but what I can't get over is all the fucking cringe couple shit. Where, like, they really think this shit is funny and they think it's silly, it's goofy, you know, whatever. It's, it's stupid is what it fucking is, alright? It's just crazy to think that this is the video that made Sniper Wolf fucking rich and famous. Like, this is literally all it took. Be halfway attractive and act like you're touching boobs. And what's even crazier for Sniper Wolf is that now that this video has done very well, like, she's just practically grandfathered into YouTube. She doesn't have to try anymore. Like, that's why she does what she does. The video she makes now takes like 10 minutes to record, zero effort, zero talent, zero anything, other than she just has to put makeup on and a little bit of cleavage and she's good to go time to get views and some money you know what's even funnier about this whole situation is that there are couples out there posting this kind of content every single day and like they're actually putting effort into the things they post the problem is they're fucking ugly like, they're not attractive, and they're never going to do well on YouTube. Like, I promise you guys, there are some fat chicks out there that are forcing their husbands to do these stupid-ass challenges, and you know what? I'm here to say, I'm sorry, bro, but you don't fucking deserve that. Get the hell out of that relationship right now, and go find some other girl that's actually worth a damn. Because five to ten years from now, you're gonna look back at these videos and say, Damn, I really was a fucking cringe-ass loser, and you don't wanna be- No one! wants to be that guy all right anyways guys i think that's about all the cringe i can handle today so uh with that being said thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i want to give a shout out to the world's greatest fucking channel member ever joseph i appreciate the hell out of you if you yourself would like to support the channel consider becoming a member today more importantly though fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new Leave a like on the video if you want to support the mills with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Alright, what's going on everyone, and welcome back to another video. Fellas, today I guess I'm just a fat phobic person because uh, we're going to be talking about some beluga whales once again. Last time I made a video about a fat person, I had the, oh no, here comes the fat police, they're going to get mad at me again. For some reason, I just had a lot of people that were very upset with me because I said Lizzo is a little thick. I mean, what the hell do you expect? The goddamn truth hurts and she said it herself. Like, trust me, I understand calling people fat is not very nice, and I don't think you should do it unless they have an ego about it, and that's where people like Lizzo come into play. They're all trying to preach to me, oh, I'm fat and I'm healthy. I may be 400 pounds, but in my mind, I'm fucking skinny. And that's where things just, that doesn't really connect with me. Maybe I'm just old school, I guess. You see, the way I judge things is, um, here, let me give you guys an example. Let's say that one day me and Lizzo go out on a date, we hop in my car, we go out to a restaurant, and when we get to the parking lot, it's time to get out of the vehicle, right? I get up. I walk into the restaurant, I turn around, Lizzo is not getting out of my car for some reason. So obviously, being the nice guy that I am, I walk over to Lizzo, I ask her, you know, what's the fucking hold up here? Why are we not walking into the restaurant? And she explains to me, I can't get up. 
And at that point, that's when things really take a turn for the worse because it's honestly like the ball boy trying to help up an offensive lineman off the ground. It's just physically not going to work, okay? I'd have to keep a fucking 500 pound crane in the back of my vehicle just to get her out of the goddamn car. And if that's the case, you are fat, okay? You're fat as fuck. You're round as hell. You look like a blueberry. I really don't know how to say it in a polite way. And sometimes that's what people need. Sometimes you just need a good old kick in the fucking ass to get you going and who knows maybe they'll actually lose weight I mean, that's actually kind of what happened to me Someone said you're fucking fat and I started running and I lost a lot of weight But I think some people kind of get it twisted like they think I just walk into grocery stores and see someone That's just a little chubby and I just point at him. I'm like, hey, you're fucking fat You need to do something about it. Like see that's a totally different scenario that person being overweight It doesn't fucking affect me. I don't care if I'm not sitting next to you on an airplane I really don't care unless you have an ego again if you're trying to preach to me you want to play Mr. Preacher and talk to me about how being 350 pounds is actually healthy because you eat a fucking fruit or even better you want to try and force me into liking fat chicks because you're like oh that's the new thing no it's not the new thing the new thing is not dying from heart disease okay anyways I hope you guys get the point by now with that being said let's just take Take a look at this goddamn TikTok. All right, so she says, boys at my school must be fat phobic because how am I still single? You know what, man? This honestly, this isn't even fat phobic. I don't really understand because this is fucking obese phobic. This is way off the deep end. Now, I'm not kidding when I say this, but if I were like on the beach in Florida tanning my fucking buns, right? You know, I'm laying on my stomach. I'm having a nice little nap in the sun. Life is great. I'm listening to the waves. And then I hear some commotion out in the ocean and I turn around. I'm like, what the fuck was that? I look out there about 500 yards across the water. I see two objects. One of them is this woman crying for help because she can't swim and the other one is a beluga whale giving me some Kind of sounds I couldn't tell which is which if I'm being completely honest here I don't think I would know like obviously I'm no whale watching expert here But I'm just saying man at a distance It would be very very difficult to tell like which is her and which is the whale Anyways, getting back to her caption here that says boys at my school must be fat phobic because how am I still single? Now, obviously, no offense, but uh, you have two different colored hair, you have a bull ring in your nose, and your stomach looks like a fucking butt. I mean, like, come on, bro, this, this gotta be a fake video or something. There's no way she actually made this little stupid TikTok, uploaded it online, and was like, yeah, th this shit is fucking fire, man. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand how I'm single. I mean, I'm just saying and it took me all of about three seconds to understand why you're single. Anyways, do you guys see my point here? You see how like having an ego about being fat is just fucking annoying? Like it's not cute. No one feels sorry for you. You're not fucking attractive. I'm not trying to be mean, but I am going to be upfront and honest with you. It's not a good look. You need to change it, okay? You can be fat and you can just not make everyone know that you're fucking fat. Like we can see, we have goddamn eyes, Deborah. We can see that you're fucking fat. You don't need to tell us you're fat. You don't need to try and tell us why we should appreciate your fucking fatness, all right? That's just not gonna happen. Just get over it. Anyways, I think my fucking work is done here, fellas. With all that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to the world's greatest fucking channel member, Joseph. Thank you so much for the support, homie. If you yourself would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly, though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you are new, leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me, and I will catch you guys next time later.